it's the Adventure Club edition. And we're going to talk about the Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival. Now, it is celebrated in other countries, not just in China. So it's referred to as a Lunar New Year. But for our purposes, we're going to talk about the Chinese tradition surrounding the Lunar New Year. And first off, we're going to start off with the Lunar Calendar. Now, the Lunar New Year is the first day for the Lunar Calendar. And a Lunar Calendar happens to be where one month is... A, uh, the lunar, a cycle of the moon that equals one month and the Chinese calendar the lunar one is over 2,000 years old and the celebration that start that starts the lunar new year is a 15 day celebration and this year it actually falls on February 12th and it ends on February 26th with the lantern festival now, during this time, families are coming together, they're celebrating, they're eating a special meal together, there's fireworks, they're exchanging gifts, and usually these gifts are money in a red envelope because red is a lucky color. Now, I have in our Kinwood's Grab and Go a kit for you, and in the kit, we're going to have facts and um, book, rec book recommendations about the Chinese New Year. And we're also going to have a lantern craft, a color sheet. I would, oh, I carried away with the colors. <laughs> and we're gonna have a Chinese zodiac chart. And the reason why you're gonna have a Chinese zodiac chart is because each year, according to in the Chinese calendar, is named after an animal that's on the zodiac. So there's a it's a 12 year cycle based on the 12 animals, and this year happens to be the year of the ox. <laughs> Today's craft is going to be an ox bookmark, and the supplies are in your grab and go kit, which while supplies last, uh, we have your googly eyes, your horns, your uh, ears, and the nose. So you're going to basically to start this craft off, you're going to take the paper and you're going to fold it like this. And when you do, you want to take this part of the paper, fold it back and forth until you get a nice little crease. And then you're going to just tear it slightly apart and it's going to look like this, a triangle. And you're gonna take each side of it to where it had, they, it's starting to look like this. So this is how it's supposed to look. And then you're going to take this and this piece right here, you're going to bend it, not all the way, just a little bit to where it looks like this. And once it looks like this, you're going to take this in and you're going to tuck it in here. You're going to do it to both ends to where it looks like this. Now, oh, you want to do the back part first where you're going to add your horns and your ears. Now, if you lose your ears, all, all it is is two teardrops. You just make two teardrops for that. And you can either use glue or you can use tape if the glue isn't working. And which we did tape right here on the back of it. And then on the front, you put it in your nose. You use a marker, permanent marker, black marker. And you put the little dots right there and then you peel and stick the eyes and then your ox is done. So here's our little ox bookmark. Um, people born in the year of the ox, their strengths are that they're loyal, hardworking, reliable, honest, and some of their weaknesses, they happen to be a little bit overcautious and sometimes stubborn, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, people who are also born in the year of the ox, they tend to find their best careers are in the arts, uh, they're teachers, librarians, writers, lawyers, sometimes a doctor. 
Um, famous African Americans born in the year of the ox is Jesse Owens, who is a or was a Olympic gold medalist in 1938. He was in the Olympics there. And famous musicians Louis Armstrong and BB King. Now you'll remember Louis Armstrong. He did the song "What a Wonderful World." And Morgan Freeman, a famous actor, also born in the year of the ox. Then former President Barack Obama whose term limit was 2008 through 2016. He was also the first African-American president. He was born in the year of the ox also. So that's really cool to find out. And some of the uh, resources, if you look for people born in the year of the ox, they'll give you a list of uh, different celebrities and history, histor historical people that were born in the year of the ox. Um, again, the kits that we have for the grab and go in Kentwood are while well, supplies last. Um, also, the color sheet has the Happy New Year in English, and it has the phrase in Mandarin. And if you're like me and you're trying to learn a different language, the library does offer uh, some resources like Pronunciator, and we have a, the library version of Rosetta Stone. If you ever want to learn Mandarin, or if you want to learn another language, and this is what type of languages are provided, this will be also in your kit. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on our social media pages. Until then, be imaginative. Have fun. Bye.